How to add a color mat in Premiere Pro. A color mat is a blank video clip mainly used as a background when working with graphics or video. The main difference between a color mat and black video is that you can apply any color to a color mat. The only color you can use for black video is black. To create a color mat, go to the bottom right of the project panel and click on the new item button and press color mat. The new color mat window will appear and press OK. Then the color picker window will appear. In this window, you can make the color mat any color you like by using the color slider here, which will change the main color. This section here is called the color field and it will allow you to select the shade of the color you picked in the color slider. And if you know the hexadecimal color code of the color you want, you could type it in here. Or if you have an image of the color you want to use, you can use the eyedropper tool to get the hexadecimal color code of the color you want. Press OK, give your color mat a name, especially if you're going to be working with multiple color mats in your project. Press OK and you will see the color mat in your project panel. A scenario where you would use a color mat is to tint your footage. To do this, drag and drop your color mat into your timeline and place it over your footage. Go to the effect controls panel and if you don't have the effect controls panel in your workspace, go to the window tab and select effect controls or press the keyboard shortcut shift five. In the effect controls panel, go to opacity. Opacity controls the transparency of a clip. When the opacity is at 100%, it means the clip is completely visible, and 0% will make the clip invisible or fully transparent. If you hover over it, you can change the opacity by clicking on it and sliding it to the left, which will decrease the opacity, or slide it to the right, which will increase the value of the opacity. You can also type in the value of the opacity as well. Another way to use a color mat is to use it as a background for a logo or graphics. I have the St. Saxon Creative logo here, but I have it as a transparent PNG file. If I want to add a background to it, I could duplicate the color mat by right clicking on it and pressing duplicate or use the keyboard shortcut shift command forward slash on a Mac or control shift forward slash on a Windows computer. Rename the new color mat. And when you duplicate a color mat, it will become two separate color mats. Any changes you make to one color mat will not affect the other. Double click on a color mat and the color picker window will appear. And we're going to change the color to white. Drag and drop the color mat to the timeline and you will see that the logo disappeared. In Premiere Pro, the timeline is like a stack of papers. If there is a piece of paper on video track one and I place a piece of paper on video track two, the piece of paper on video track two will completely cover the piece of paper on video track one. In order to see the piece of paper, which is our logo that is on video track one, we have to put the logo on video track three to see it over video track two. If you don't like the way the color background looks on a logo, you can also double click on the color mat in your timeline to change it as well. Like and subscribe for more Premiere Pro tutorials, and I'll see you on the next one.